Hello guys, this is Engineer Vakas Ahmed and in today's video I am going to help you people that how to install Primavera P6 22.12 version in our computer to expert in project planning and scheduling. So let's start with our first and initial milestone that how to install it in our system. So here I will share with you where it is uh, in my computer. There is already I have downloaded this uh, RL file for Primavera P6. And uh, the first step, this um, we need to retrieve original files from this compressed file. So I need to make right click. Then there are a lot more options. So I should go for extract here. It will retrieve this folder for me. Double check. Again, same compressed file. Right click and extract here. I will be given three more files. There is one, this one, 64 and the setup professional, but my target file is x64, double check again. So there is setup for my Primavera P6. So what I need to do now, I have to double click on this file and uh, just wait a moment. I have to make, yes. So I will make double click click and uh, once I will make double click over here I will be given this window and in this window I have to go for next option. I will be given two options that either I can proceed with typical or advanced. So I will go for typical and uh, I will start uh, installation. Further it will ask me to change anything in my computer. Okay yes don't worry about that a lot of people will get back to me oh that's a very security challenge no it's fine every time it's going to ask you so i'm waiting for the installation of basic setup that's fine finish okay that's done but a lot of people will get back to me again sir our primavera p6 is installed but we can't see any where it is so in your computer i will share with you people that how to do that in your computer there is your see this window you can see over here here you have to write primavera p6 okay so just wait a moment primavera and here you have to make double click so once you will make double click over there just wait a moment see this window will be given to me so at this moment what i need to do uh, if i am going to install primavera p6 first time so i have to go for edit database configuration okay and uh, i have already uh, added there is new connection but maybe for the first time you have not uh, added anything so click on this add and once you are going to click on this add, you will be given this configuration. But before that, you have to choose driver type. So I should go P6 professional stand alone. Okay. And then add a connection to an existing stand alone database. Add a new stand alone database and connection. I am going to select for this second option. Next. And then I will be given option admin password will be same as it is like this control c again control v here and uh, name symbol dollar whatever okay that's why next and uh, save it okay okay close it okay so now again we have to go into our window over here and uh, I have to write like this one and uh, I will share with you people there is again I have to go for my already set password admin connect this time and it is already installed and it is going to give you your Primavera P6 22.12 and this Pro, uh, you know this window will pop up for every you know uh, installation case so don't worry this is actually asking you after installation after getting into p6 you have to choose your industry it's a very simple thing so don't worry i'll be sharing with you people how it looks like okay this is your primavera p6 and it's very simple uh, you have to proceed with your primavera p6 this window is actually showing you that uh, these are actually different EPS enterprise structures and there is dashboard uh, control panel for your Primavera P6. This is timeline. This is EPS. 
still you have to create your projects go into file there are many more amazing and updated things in this version of primavera p6 and we will uh, get along exploring new features of Primavera P6 with EPC planning, plant shutdown, a lot more things to utilize in industry uh, with uh, pro industry requirements. So if you have not done yet expert in Primavera P6, you can um, get into my upcoming webinar, our full session of Primavera P6 with EPC planning and shutdown management that how to use Primavera P6. Remember one thing, people are going to tell you about Primavera P6, but Engineer Vakas is going to tell you how oil and gas field industry, construction industry, plant shutdown industry is going to utilize Primavera P6 with effective leadership skills. It's not data entry operator. If you know only Primavera P6, it's okay but you are going to become a data entry operator but if you will learn process industry kind of things how to make strategy how to utilize primavera p6 then you are going to become a leader a planning engineer leading job carry kind of thing thank you very much